Whether you're a rookie or a master, you know that anomalies are what makes the zone special. Hello stalkers, and welcome to the anomalous dugout. In this video, we will showcase everything we could find about gravitational anomalies. So pack up your bolts, stalkers. We're going to the zone. Gravitational anomalies are powerful distortions that are able to cause tremendous damage to anything getting too close. They are easily recognizable by air fluctuations, floating leaves and also their weird noises. They are very common in the zone and are usually the first anomalies stalkers encounter. In Shadow of Chernobyl, each individual anomaly spawns its own artifacts. However, in Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat, it is unclear which gravitational anomalies spawns which gravitational artifacts, and it is possible that all the following artifacts are able to be created by any of the gravitational anomalies. Stoneflower, Jellyfish, Ranged, Night Star, Gravity, and Goldfish. The springboard sends powerful shockwaves when triggered. In Shadow of Chernobyl, this could be achieved via bolts, but this was changed in Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat, as well as the anomaly's visuals, making it harder to distinguish from other gravitational anomalies. It usually is less dangerous than its counterparts, since it deals less damage and doesn't affect your movements, but it remains a serious threat. In Shadow of Chernobyl, it produces the jellyfish, stoneflower and night star artifacts. One of the most famous springboards is the one featured in Clear Sky's opening scene that can actually be met in game afterwards. The vortex drags everything that comes close to it towards its center before exploding. It is a very dangerous anomaly as it deals a lot of damage and is hard to escape. Also, it cannot be triggered by bolts. Still, it is possible to safely trigger the anomaly by just walking at the edge. As you can see, it is easily able to shred anything into pieces. In Shadow of Chernobyl, it spawns the ranched, gravy and goldfish artifacts. A famous vortex can be found at the very center of the symbiont anomaly. We don't know its role for sure, but it seems to be important to this powerful anomalous formation. The Whirligig snatches objects in its vicinity, pulling them up and making them spin before exploding in the air. Like the Vortex, it does a lot of damage and is difficult to escape. And it isn't triggered by bolts either. It is also possible to trigger it safely, exactly like you do with the Vortex. This technique will discharge the anomaly for a very short time, allowing you to run through it if you're quick enough. The forces used in its process are enough to tear anything down. Also worth noting is that in Call of Pripyat, this anomaly became extremely rare, but also more powerful. In Shadow of Chernobyl, it creates the Stoneblood, Midchunk and Soul artifacts. 
One strange whirly gig is located in laboratory X18. Not only is it odd to find it in such a cramped place, but it actually isn't able to harm you in any way. The lift is an anomaly that was cut from Shadow of Chernobyl. However, it can still be found at the Pripyat Stadium near the tail of the crashed chopper. Its only effect is to negate gravity. We don't really know if it was supposed to be like this or if the anomaly just wasn't finished, but it doesn't have any visual effects or sound. Also, it seems that the anomaly isn't completely functional or rather a little bit buggy. Originally, it was supposed to create the pellicle artifact that was himself not cut from the final game. Gravitational clusters are common and very dangerous. In Shadow of Chernobyl, there is a large concentration of whirly gigs and springboards that is cutting one of the roads connecting the garbage to the Agroprom Institute, thus illustrating how anomalies are able to block a path, as this is mentioned quite often in the games. Other examples are one cluster in Limansk that blocks the main road, and one in Zaten, preventing access to the bridge. In Clear Sky and Call of Pripyat, anomaly clusters often mix gravitational and fire anomalies together. Also, both these anomaly types seem to be able to create similar terrain deformations. One is the fault, such as in the Dark Valley. The other is what we could call claws, that can be seen near the Agroprom Institute. When formed above water, springboards usually dig a small crater. One example can be found in the Great Swamp. Vortexes, on the contrary, create small mounds, as it can be seen in the swamp in Zaton. You can notice the presence of both springboards and vortexes that have opposed effects on water. This is actually logical, since vortexes suck things in and springboards push them out. Because of their weird properties, gravitational anomalies sometimes have ridiculous interactions with artifacts. They can push them, throw them away, and even send them flying into the air. Even though artifacts seem to be indestructible, this often means that the loot will be gone forever. And that's it for gravitational anomalies. I hope you learned something new today, and be sure to stay tuned, as we will take a look at electrical anomalies next. Thank you for watching, stalkers, and goodbye.